Today we're going to be putting some makeup under the microscope. For this experiment you will need alcohol wipes, cover slips, microscope slides, a microscope, and makeup. Use an alcohol wipe to remove dust from the slides. Now you're going to want to swab the makeup onto the slides. Carefully place a sample of the makeup onto the middle of the slide. I use the very tip of my mascara brush to get this sample. If the viscosity of your makeup is lower, you're going to want to make sure that you only use a thin layer on the center of the slide. For powders or thick makeup, you're going to want to use a Q-tip to spread it out so that it creates a thin layer in the center of the slide. The key with creating these slides is making sure that light can pass through your sample. If you want to use a drop of a more liquid makeup, you can use a cover slip on top to create a wet mount slide. Now it's time to check out the slides under the microscope. Here is my concealer under my microscope. On all these slides, I use my low and medium objectives. The highlighter turned out really cool, as you could see many different shades of different colors. Seeing as these objects were 3D, by changing the light levels on my microscope, I was able to see different parts of them. Finally, here is my mascara. The majority of my makeup didn't appear to have any bacteria, except for my mascara, which had these little yellow dots. This is why it's important to follow the guidelines on when to throw away your makeup. Oops. Thanks for watching and let me know what you find in your makeup. Tag me in your photos on Instagram at stem underscore files.